concretely in America today, what can a white person do that a black person can't do? Black applicants to jobs are 50% less likely to get jobs with they have a black sounding that, name. That, that's not even close that to being true. That's not even that close to being accurate. true. That like, is a literal. Like, that, in fact, it's yes, the opposite. Is, I'm not going to argue your oh. lived experience. I'm not going to. No. No. See, now I'm you not, have to listen to him under your rules because course. a black person is going to say am, you're wrong. I am. He can say I'm wrong. I've, I know I Come on up your, to the mic. I know I read, I read your... Is, I, I, my name's Kimon Dixon. I have a really black name. Please no. tell me how 50% of my internships have been denied when I've worked for Senator Mike Lee, Mayor Trent Sachs, Speaker Mike Schultz. Hold on. I've worked for a congressman, Burgess Owens. I've actually worked on his campaign. I've worked on the campaigns of John Huntsman Jr. Please tell me how my black experience and my black man has not given me shit. Go ahead. So, what's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here into a new video. So, the one checking out Charlie Cook shuts down three arrogant college students' best debates compilation. Okay, I call Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's get right into this video. You dropped out of college and well, your highest community college. Mm, sorry, your Harper College experience. Yeah, I apologize. Barely was smart enough to make it through community college. Okay, so. Barely and made it through high school. Your too. highest degree level is an honorary doctor's degree from Liberty University. No, that's true. I do have an honorary PhD. Yeah. So essentially, what are your qualifications for arguing that college is a scam or really any having any economical knowledge at all when likely the vast majority of the students here know more than you about economics as a whole? Okay, so uh, no hold on, it's okay, guys, it's okay. Uh, who's Milton Friedman? Who is Milton Friedman? I have no idea, and it's not important to this conversation. Who, who is Ludwig von Mises? Mm, these are all probably economists, and they're the same, yeah. the same who thing. Who is John Maynard Keynes? That, okay, obviously I know who Keynes is. Oh, obviously, yeah. He's the most famous economist of all well, time. You don't know Milton Friedman? I mean, that's an economist. Okay, how about Murray Rothbard? That's another economist. F.A. Hayek? I don't know who that is. Well, then you just came here and insulted my intelligence. For You're right, I barely made it through community college because I was too busy, I don't know, starting a national youth movement with hundreds of thousands of members. Hey, hold on, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Employing hundreds of people, raising hundreds of millions of dollars, yes. having a top 10 most popular podcast, sure. and reaching tens of millions of people online every day. Sure, but, hold on. but you're also what calling all of your constituents idiots no, by I've saying they participate that, in a scam. They, you, their hold shirts right there. I'm calling the scam. institution a scam. So then I never why, insulted okay, the so intelligence. Then, I just so had then, 10 people come up and we had warm conversations. So you asked, what are my qualifications? I'm a job creator, entrepreneur, autodidact. Do you know what that word means? Self-taught. Mm. Yeah, uh, self-taught. You know, you should probably learn that word if you're oh, gonna come okay, up and okay. insult other people's intelligence. Hey, hey, hey. So autodidacticism is what Leonardo da Vinci was. You don't have to go to college to be wise. True. You don't have to go to college to be intelligent. I read 100 books a year. I visit over 150 hey, colleges. I'm not saying hey, you're unintelligent. I'm just, I'm just last, saying you lack qualifications. Question. Well. Are you a New York Times bestseller? Of course not. I'm okay, in college. Got it. So I'm just trying. What are my qualifications? I have published books, read lots of books, dialogued a lot of people, and instead of asking what my qualifications okay. are, Yet can you name one thing I've ever wrong. said? That, hold on. Name one thing I'm wrong about. You literally just you just now incorrectly cited the difference between socialism and communism. While you H how yourself, so? what did I how do? so? You claimed that Russia was socialist. Russia oh, the, the was Soviet never socialist. Union was socialist. So no, it was a communist nation. There is a significant difference well, between wh the two. Why did Lenin say that socialism is the gateway to communism? And he was self-described uh, uh, socialist Lenin, in his private Lenin, treatise and documents in the Russian Revolution. Lenin before was he took overtaken over by Stalin. Capital. Hold on a second. No, so, Lenin died, and then Stalin was his successor. Yes. So, but Lenin himself said, "quote." that socialism is the introductory phase to communism. Did okay, he not say so that? Okay, so then the vast majority of people when they're referring to communist Russia are referring to Stalin's rule over Russia. That was a communist rule that turned into a fascist rule later on. Okay, so but what 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 thinker was deified in Soviet Russia? That what had, thinker was deified? Yeah, what, yes. Marx. Oh, and, and what, what, what book did Marx write? Yes, he wrote Capital, which and he also wrote the, the, communist, know, the communist Manifesto. manifesto. Who was his co-author? Who was co-author? Angles. Yeah, angles. angles. Good. I'm glad college is really paying off for you. Hey. So, um, so no, hey. but it's okay. It's fine. He comes up here and insults my intelligence. What are your qualifications? Doesn't even know the co-author of the Communist Manifesto or Das Listen. Kapital. But no, let me just again, so again. I, I, but I, does but, my lack of knowledge on that mean that I have no, no knowledge you again? Up, you is that the same thing? came up here and insulted me, and you, you came up here guns a blazing, man. And let me just ask again. What did I say that was wrong? I said that 
under the generally agreed upon definition of communism and socialism, which are interchangeable terms, one is a more harsh degree of the other, is that the elimination of the family, the elimination of private property, and the deprivation of basic human rights, such as right to speech, right to assembly, and right to worship, how is that not a good definition of communism or socialism? Because that explains the fascism better. Well, but in the Communist Manifesto, Marx said, quote, we are here to destroy the nuclear family and eradicate the family because it was the original oppressive tyrannical True. structure. He said religion is the opiate of the masses and that private property must be eradicated. I have just now documented all three of those with evidence back to original source documents. And then in practice, Russia did all those three True. things when they were the Soviet Union. So but, where am I but wrong? Then, but, then he, but then at the same time, if you claim that those are all negative things, then why do you practice certain things in, those, in the doctrines that you just stated? Well, I, I'm not trying to take people's stuff away. Mm. Nor, I want people to have bigger families, and I want churches to remain open. Yeah, but the thing is, so is your main practice? no, but your main, your biggest thing, your biggest point that everyone here is for is that you're a potential white supremacist. So, oh, how, 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 what evidence do you have that I'm a racist? I was just literally watching a video of you talk about how talking about whiteness as a whole, wh talking about whiteness as a concept, okay? And you were trying to explain how white privilege doesn't exist. Correct, it doesn't. You are a white man. How do you know? Uh, because I have eyes. Because you have eyes. That's and not I a description. Reason. So what can a black person do that I can't do in America? Or what can a black versa? person do? What can I so do a black person can't do? I let's say. think of some history right here. Let's go no, no, to no, the no, history no, of no. redlining. I, I don't need a history line. I don't need a history yes, lesson. No, no, you're talking you about white privilege. You do need a history line. And clearly no, I, you need I, a history I know your lesson. talking points better than you do. And I've read all those li the literature that you have. I've, I've probably forgotten history more about the literature. The pa history affects the present day as well. And you know that's true. If you went to college, you would know. Well, hold on a second. But let me. So then why are you wearing the college of scam shirt? Drop out. Well. Well, because you could... You so it's because you don't believe your own beliefs, and that's what I'm well, saying. Well, you can you admit something's a scam and still get through it. That's why he's wearing it, okay? You well, could be, then you why? Could, you could feel like you're getting ripped off by an airline but and anyways, still want to get to New York. But that's not what we're talking okay? about anymore. Like, you could still... You you're like, I'm getting ripped off by a $1,000 ticket, but you still get on the airplane. Like, it doesn't make you a hypocrite. It means that the people yeah. are ripping you off, and a lot of you are getting ripped off. But no, so as far as white privilege, just with, without the history lesson of, you know, Jim Crow, segregation, imperialism, colonialism, slavery, all the stuff that I know that you're gonna say, but just in concretely in America today, what can a white person do that a black person can't do? Black applicants to jobs are 50% less likely to get jobs with they have a black sounding that, name. That, that's not even close that to being true. That's not even that close to being true. That like, is a literal. Like, that, in fact, it's yes, the opposite. Is, I'm not gonna de argue your oh. lived experience. I'm not gonna, no, no. See, now I'm you not, have to listen to him under your rules because course. a black person is gonna I say am, you're wrong. I am, he can say I'm wrong. I've, I know I Come on up your, to the mic. I know I read, I read your... I, my name is Kimon Dixon. I have a really black name. Please no. tell me how 50% of my internships have been denied when I've worked for Senator Mike Lee, Mayor Trent Sachs, Speaker Mike Schultz. Hold on. I've worked for a congressman, Burgess Owens. I've actually worked on his campaign. I've worked on the campaigns of John Huntsman Jr. Please tell me how my black experience and my black man okay. has been shit. Okay. That's fire right there. So, Yes. I'd like to disagree with you right, about uh, college as a scam. Okay. Just because there's 50% of people who you say don't need college to get a job, why would it be a scam? There's a social impact about college, about on America. College is, you know, good. The majority of kids that go to college when they graduate have a lower view of America than when they entered. Do you think that's a troubling thing? I think just changing your opinion doesn't really matter too much. Do you think that college teaches responsibility and hard work and... Sure. Okay, well, I, I find that hard to believe. Why is it that employers are more and more not wanting to hire college graduates and they actually want to hire people that didn't go to college? What employers? Uh, you can name them out, man. Walmart just got rid of their, uh, even in their corporate level, so you don't need to go to college. Coke Industries, one of the largest employers in the country, from Georgia Pacific Railroad to uh, Dow Chemical. They said, we no longer want kids that have gone to college because okay. they end up causing problems because they're super entitled and they're like, oh, what are my pronouns? And they have all this like left-wing nonsense that they've been filled with. Well, then you have engineers, doctors, lawyers, people that Sure, we need that, but that's less than 20% of the people that go to college. Yeah, but college it'd, is it'd an be wrong to say college is a scam if 25% of people become great people. You know, lawyers, doctors, engineers. That's not what really college currently is, though. Again, I, I'm happy to have you read the book, College is a Scam, I wrote it. I can have a more wordy thing, which is the vast majority of people that go to college are receiving a scam for the money that they're borrowing. The vast majority. That's of course just, there's exceptions. You can make whatever you want with your life. I mean, you could 
But I mean, when you enter into an enterprise, yeah, you need to know that you are going to college. Let me, let make me more prove money this to you. The end. How many of you guys have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you wouldn't have to take? Every single hand. You're being scammed against your will to take classes that make you go further into debt. Why can't you say, I don't want to take this class? Why are you using. Why is um, a customer you can't Can you say do it? a differential equation? You what? Can you do a differential equation? Can I do can a Can you explain to me the anatomy of a human? Uh, like somewhat off the top of my head? You know what psychology is. Yes, I do know what psychology is. Okay, can Freud you explain it to me? Do you want me to explain psychology? Well, you can't explain is, it to it, the depths of a bachelor's degree or a PhD. Well, hold on a, a second. Time out. I've sat here with no notes, no phone, and debated people with yeah, PhDs, masters. Yeah, because you study this because it's your job. Hold on. I didn't go to college, man. That's the point, is you can do whatever you want without a college degree. You can listen to podcasts, read you, books. You think don't about need if to Gauss go... Gauss wasn't able to go to the University of Gottingen. That's said, literally the uh, reason... I, I can't hear Gau what you said. What did you say? You know Gauss, right? No, uh, Mathematician. Yeah, sh it's vaguely, sure. Okay. Vaguely? Yes, vaguely, yeah. Oh, Do you know okay. who Milton Freeman is? Do you know who Herbert Marcuse is? Do you know who Thomas Sowell is? Do you use a phone? Do you know who Gouverneur Morris is? Well, that's because of Gauss. No, you don't. So I could do gotcha too. Like, so Euler before you try to went, get off to your ivory tower is the and understand that, that not he, became, everybody, he was able to become so proficient in mathematics so here, here's and the change thing. the world. The majority of kids that go Most to college people are that more get depressed a than when they enter. Degree are able Secondly, to perform much better in their field than someone who doesn't. Well, then, if that's the question, if that really is true, if well, college is this amazing accelerant, then why do so I many people? I wouldn't say it's accelerant, but if you're looking at a field of science, right? Let me finish. Man. And you want to have you taken a communication of course, or have you not done you that yet? You need a degree. All right, okay, okay, let, let me let me fit, make my point. If that's the case, why do half of these kids end up with anywhere between fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in debt, and they end up getting a job that says, "Oh, sorry, you never needed the degree in the first place." Why is that the case? Tell me. Uh, people on average, once going to the college, make more money. Hold on, no, that's not true. They end up getting that, a job. That at, is. And the, that's only if they graduate in the, and it depends on the field of study. Do you know the a, the average college graduate now is at, is is getting a job at sixty one thousand dollars a year. The average plumber after eighteen months sixty eight thousand dollars a year. Well, the sure, average but the welder plumber seventy two thousand dollars a year. With peers, the, the, well, the plumber didn't go to college. The plumber went to trade or technical school. There's eleven million job openings that do not require a college degree in this country. Well, who engineered million. the stuff plumbers use? I'm sorry, what? Who engineered the stuff plumbers use? I'm sure someone here. I mean, that it's it's like someone with a degree. It's like saying who designed college. the airplane for the pilot to fly. I mean, someone with a degree that went I, to college. I, 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 go to college. A, I, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not saying you get rid of all places of higher learning. The way it's currently comprised for you guys, the amount of debt you have to go into, the classes well, you that say you have to don't take. Don't get rid of places of higher learning. Okay, but then you go on to you're say you're interrupting every 15 scam. seconds. You're not debating in, in good faith because it is a scam. So let me ask you a question. Can you point to other things of American life the last hundred years that have been scams? For example, when Someone, they run an advertisement. They say, buy these pills because, you know, we're going to make you super muscular. And they don't have all the fine print that it might not work and you have to have a monthly subscription. We shut down that business for being That's a scam. That's a little different, though. That's a How product. is it different? Hold on a second. When you show up to college, did they tell you you have to take all these classes that you didn't sign up for? Yeah. Did they, oh, they, they said that you're going to have to take all these different classes. Did they tell you that half of you guys would not ever use your degree when you go into your career? How many guys knew that? You guys knew that when you signed up? Yeah. Well, college you is that. what well, you make of you it, guys right? Are, you guys are willingly participating in the scam. Good for you. The point is this, is that most kids know deep down they're getting ripped off. The number one thing I hear from people across the country in corporate America, boy, college is a waste of time. Boy, I wish I never would have gone. Now I have $60,000 of debt, $70,000 in debt. I wanted to start a business, but now I don't have the credit to do it. Instead, we are wasting our most prized possession, our 18 to 22 year olds, to go stick them at many universities when they shouldn't be here in the first place. And it is a failed project. It is making us poor. It is making, and by the way, just, just look at the actual numbers over a period of time. Has it worked? Is homeownership now going up for young college well, graduates? How are we going to blame that on college, though? It's the There's no, a it's lot the, of different it, reasons it the that most people are not able applicable, to buy homes. It's the most equally applicable thing across the board for a generation. I say so. And, and it, it, if you look at the average, how much debt do you have to go to school, by the way? None. None? Okay, wow. Do you, are you on scholarship or? Yeah. Okay, so who's paying for your college then? Probably the federal government. Okay, so I'm paying for your college, is what you're saying. Uh, my taxes are paying for your college. So wait, do you have a, you're on grant or what? 
Uh, I'm not going to discuss my college finances. Well, now this is really important. This is why you're so defensive of college. Yeah. This is why you're so forceful because you don't have to walk around the rest of your life with a hundred thousand dollars student I loan debt. I know plenty of people because, that have part-time jobs no, no, and no, go to this college. Ex this explains you perfectly. I, the taxpayer, when I write my check to the IRS, I'm Pots. subsidizing your ability to go to college. Okay. When and I, I think write that's a huge my mistake check to the IRS, cause, I cause also give money for people to go to college. You should have skin in the game. You should, and you don't right now. You are doing a freeloading thing. Of course, you should be defensive I of college. I pay taxes. I pay federal taxes. Yeah, I, I pay state taxes. I, 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 I'm well, sure I pay a little bit more than you, taxes, but that's a separate but issue. But the point is this: is that's that probably true. I, do, you, do you, th you think you pay anywhere close to the tuition value you get at the school? Probably not. Yeah, probably I do. It's like five thousand a semester. It's a lot of money, but you get a lot out of Wait, that. Wait, hold on. How much is it to go to school here? It's around five thousand. So in state. In state, yeah. Okay, five, did that include room and board and tuition? No. Okay, how much does, it, does that cost? Uh, room, board, tuition, all of it's around 11000 11000 a semester. So you pay $22,000 a year in taxes? Uh, no. Okay, got it. So you're, you're in a tax deficit, which means the U.S. taxpayer is subsidizing your education. That's fine. I'm not faulting you for it, but this is why you're so defensive, Fonts. is you're detached from the price. You're detached from the cost. It's easy to be defensive of something That's you're not true. paying for. Hey, Kirk. Um, my question is sort of a question slash compliment. Um, you're a very good public speaker. And I think a lot of people here might struggle with that. Um, what I'm curious is somebody with so little education beyond high school and, you know, just experience in the field, how are you able to so confidently um, just kind of word vomit, right? What you said what? a... You, Pretty much every question you've answered has been no answer. You've just kind of said what conservatives want to hear. So really, all of your work is not a debate. It's just confirmation bias. So want to have you a debate? A, where, sorry? You want a debate? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm just curious where you learned. Okay. You sure? Where you learned how to I, public I'm a speech. high school graduate. You're in college, man. Let's debate. I, I vomit for a living, you said. Yeah. Come on, let's debate. No, I'm not here to debate. That's not, oh, that's not my to, question. You're just here to insult me. Uh, yeah, you're a bad... Yeah, I am. You're okay. a hero. Where did you learn how to public speak? Because you're really good at lying out of your uh, ass. Wh what have I lied about? Name one thing I lied tonight about. The name stats. A, name, name a second thing. No, name a stat. I said that's wrong. Uh, you did said 11 million jobs. Uh, you said 50 percent. Yes, 11 growth. million jobs are so, open for blue collar work according to Mike Rowe and according to three independent studies according to the Department of Labor. Name another stat I said that's wrong. I guess my main point is... No, name is a third stat that I said you, that's wrong. When you say a stat or you just say numbers, it's helpful usually when you're public speaking to say where you got that information. Because people who disagree with you might not I, I, oh, so, so give me No, but you, you, you say, give some examples. Where did I lie or say a stat that's not true? You need to work on not doing confirmation bias. Wait, hold on. No, but... You come up here and say, oh, how did you with a high school education learn to spew BS? Say one thing I said that was wrong, misleading, unfactual, not rooted in data. One you're thing. doing it right now. I'm asking you a question. I was just making a comment and you're spinning it. That's what you're really good at. That's why I think you're a good No, you came speaker. up here and insulted me. I'm asking you, how have I misled this audience? And you come unprepared, like not with a single data. I thought you'd at least have like one gotcha, man. Like one number, like one thing. 11 million job openings, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that require muscular labor and require just a six-month technical training degree. That is true. At the apex, 15,000 people coming across the southern border every single day. I even said it's down a little bit. That is true. What, what, what have I said that's incorrect? I'll do next. You're good at what you do, but not for the right reasons. That's all I'm saying. They don't want to debate me Street. because they can't debate me. They can't say one thing I said that's wrong. They can't name one data point. They just come up here and insult. You, my friend, are why we are going to beat you guys historically because you are afraid to have a debate. Just, it's so amazing, the smugness. Uh, how'd you learn to speak like this in word vomit? Oh, what I say that's true? Uh... Everything. Name one thing. Name another thing. Name another thing. Yeah, you, sh you should ask for money back at KU. They're really scamming you, man. You'd think you'd have one little thing. All right. Okay. Uh, they are all arrogant. All the student rights that the three students Charlie debates with, they are all arrogant and they are smokes. 
Is it the funny thing about the leftists is that, let's start from this last guy, they just don't want to answer the question. They don't know how to answer the question. They will just go out of the contest. They can't answer the question. They stumble and they are easily triggered. Whenever you see someone like that, you just know the person is a left wing. Like, is it pure left wing? That's just the student right here. You said Charlie is saying something that's wrong. Okay, mention what he said that's wrong. He said the stats. Charlie mentioned the stats again. Is the stats wrong? Prove me if it's right or wrong. He said Charlie is good at words by us. How in the world is he doing that? Charlie came to vomit weights. Like, it's it's crazy how that guy have the guts to stand up to talk to, to, talk to Charlie in such a way without having any backing, without any, having any stats or research that what Charlie is saying is wrong in the first place. That is the crazy thing about it. Like, you just came there to insult Charlie, and he was confident enough to say he came to insult Charlie. Like, that is very disrespectful and very arrogant. And the guy right there is a total smog and I detest such character. You just see, you know, he's a left wing guy. Then the first guy who was talking about um, Charlie is not smart, he was trying to mess Charlie's intelligence, that Charlie did not go to college, and everyone around him is smarter than Charlie. Like, and Charlie's come to tell him that college is a scam, whereas Charlie did not f- go through college completely because Charlie was, a, a, um, he went through community college and then go through college completely. So, for them, they are smarter than Charlie. The, the college student right there, the first guy who spoke, the first arrogant student was feeling like he's smarter than Charlie, more intelligent than Charlie because he's going through college and Charlie dropped out. And Charlie have no right to tell him that college is a scam. College is a scam. It's as simple as that. Like, there are some courses you take that you feel like they're ripping you off. I have felt that myself. I went through college and I, I'm bold enough to tell you that college is a scam. Like, that, that, some classes you take, you'll be like, I'm, I ought not to be taking these classes. Don't get me wrong. Such classes, they are interesting. They are very, very meaningful. I won't, I won't dispute that. But just that they are not related to what you are in school to, to study. You understand? So and a lot of students, Chad is not just talking about for one student. He's talking about a lot of students. A lot of people who are going to school are going to start. According to statistics, you can go check it out yourself. 41% of people who go to college end up dropping out. It is very serious. It is something we should look into. It's almost half of people who go to college. This is very alarming, guys. It shows that there's something faulty about college. There's something about college that we have to look into. You understand? It is very serious. So I said that um, the second student who came over to speak to Charlie about that second student, the yeah, second arrogant student was very arrogant. That guy right there was very arrogant. Like, very, very arrogant. And the funny thing is that taxpayers are the one paying his tax. My my f- <laughs> my, my tax paying to the I- IRS is the one paying his tuition fee. It's as funny as that. Even Charlie was like, it's part of people who is paying his tuition fee. I understand how he's being defensive and some of his points are, are true to like some of his points that this second arrogant student was was saying was there was some sense in it that college is very very important, and the funny thing is that Charlie is telling him that you are getting me wrongly. I'm not saying people going to school like generally who are studying doctrine, um, engineering, lawyer that are doing the wrong thing. It's just that the general perspective, the general system of college is actually a scam. If you think about it and look at it properly you know is it's a scam because you going to school four or five years to study um a degree and coming out and you do not use a certificate to do anything and you are in hundreds of thousands of debts sixty thousand eighty thousand hundred thousand of debts that you have to clear off what do you think of that you feel like they, they have just ripped you off i'm not saying the education was useless or you didn't learn something in school it's just that a lot of people are going into college, but deep down into them, they feel like they ought not to be going to college. But they're going to college because they want to feel safe that, okay, they went to college. But there's something they can do with that 
time and the resources that they are spending in college into something else that will generate more funds and also help the society at large. According to what Charlie said, Charlie started Turning Point USA at the age of 18. He dropped out of community college. At the age of 18, guys, he started, this is 10 years now, Charlie has been in Turning Point. And Turning Point is massive. Charlie is New York bestseller. That is not child's play. That is not joke to her to be a New York bestseller and you're a dropout. It is very serious. It means a lot. Charlie's business, Tony Point USA, is massive and it has created a lot of job opportunities for others. It's this is massive contribution in society, guys. Tony Point USA has is a very eye opening for me. Whenever I'm watching Charlie's video, like it's eye opening. I know about politics. I know about um, the mass massive invasion in America. I know about um, CRT. I know about a lot of things that happen in America because of Charlie. Because I follow him on IG. I follow. I watch a lot of his video. Up to the extent that I start reacting to some of them on my channel. It is really really serious. I, Tony Point US is a very massive company that have actually impacted the society at large, whether people accept it or not. It's true. So. Um, the students right here, they are very arrogant and their way of approach was very terrible. Like 100% was very, very terrible. The entire video was interesting to watch. Comment down below, think about this video. Give also thumbs up, share this video to us. Many as can, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed I got scales all over